Hey YouTube, what's up everybody? I'm thinking about going to the gym before everybody gets off work at 4.30. Um, I've been sick. Um, yesterday I went home early due to being sick. Now I'm somewhat feeling better. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do in my workout. I'm going to try to... I'm going to try to make it either a light workout because I really don't want to end up, you know, pushing too hard after being sick. Um, I really hadn't really decided yet. Usually I just go to my home gym and I just train, do whatever. But, you know, sometimes feeling better than what I did yesterday. Yesterday it's like, I had the shits all day. I mean, I was running fever. I was running a light fever and everything. Um, I never really get sick that much. Um, but like I said, you know, it's just a headache and the hassle because, you know, I feel like I'm letting myself down because, you know, I'm not going to work, you know, basically, you know, not making any, you know, money to save up wherever. Cause I'm sick, but they say, well, you're sick, stay home. So that's what I did. Um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling about like 60% better than what I was yesterday. You know, I'm, I'm starting, you know, feeling a little bit better. I'm starting to feel more like myself. Um, it's just, I just had a lot going on and I think what it was was, Due to my sister, you know, trying to commit suicide, you know, over the holiday weekend, and I was just stressing about that. Uh, plus, taxes coming up toward the end of the year, I'm, I'm stressing about that on uh, how much my trailer is going to be and how much my car is going to be on taxes and everything. And uh, I know how much my car is going to be. It's going to be about $128, usually around about there. But my trailer two bedroom single wide trailer I don't know 16 by 80 I think um, but yeah it, it's just I I'm gonna go do a workout my grandma's not there to make a lot of racket upstairs so I'm gonna try to um, I'm gonna try to do an hour if I can't, you know, I'm going to try to do an hour. Um, but, you know, if I can't do an hour, you know, I'm going to do about four to five minutes, you know, at least. You know, because like I said, I've been sick. I really don't want to push myself too hard. Um, so, and I, and I don't want to be back to square one where I have to miss tomorrow too. And, you know, I'm trying not to miss many days. Because I really don't have enough points built up at work, you know, to be really missing a whole lot. And... I just, you know, I kind of feel bad because I left work early t two yesterday and then I, I called in today saying I'm not feeling good. I'm still really not feeling the greatest, but, you know, I'm going to try to get something in. And, you know, I think I just had a stomach bug. You know, that's all I've had what was a stomach bug and hopefully I'm over it. Um... But I've been drinking a lot of 7-Up, I've been drinking a lot of Pepto, trying to get all that stuff taken care of, you know, resting all day. I'm just tired of laying around, sitting around, doing something, uh, doing nothing, and I'm going to try to get up and do something. Um, this is a little intro for a video. If you don't know who I am, if you don't know who I am, I am Seth Donna Four, um, fitness and martial art trainer. And I'm going to make some pre-workout before I go. And I'm going to drink some of that. You know, try to get me some energy to... I know I probably shouldn't drink it because of my upset stomach. But, you know, I'm going to drink it anyway due to the fact that, you know, I want to get a workout in. Even though maybe it's cardio or weightlifting. I, you know, I don't know. You know, as long as it's something. You know, as long as i got something in. Uh, I'm going to try to do it a little earlier than norm. Is 129 by the time I probably upload it tonight uh, I probably won't upload it to YouTube or whatever 
all the way because uh, I have to go back and do the end cards and stuff like that on. But if you are new to the channel, please, you know, thank you for coming into my life. You know, all about my journey and everything else. And like I said, you know, make this uh, introduction short. Please hit the like, subscribe, stay tuned for the video. YouTube, what is up everybody, I'm in my grandma's house, uh, basically, getting the boxing workout in, um, I made an introduction to this video from before, I'm saying on who I am, once again, if you don't know who I am, I am 7 down on 4, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing a bag workout, um, we're going to do the jab, the jab, the jab cross, the jab cross hook, and then jab cross hook cross and then jab cross uppercut uppercut and then and after each time we do that we're going to do some form of body weight exercise i'm going to do either jumping jacks whatever i may do i'm not going to call it out what we're going to be doing just follow along um, I'm not one of those trainers, you know, oh, we're going to be doing this, we're going to be doing that every time, you know, just follow along in the video, hit the like, hit subscribe, you know, if you have not yet, hit that bell notification, you'll get every one of my videos, and like I said, you know, I'm in my home, actually it's not my home, but my grandma's house, but I'm in my um, training area. Um, a gym that I've created over the years that I used to live here. So this is my second home. So basically, I'm just getting it in. Um, you don't need no gym membership to stay in shape. You know, just do it on your own. Um, you can use outside nature. That's what I use. I use outside. I use inside wherever I find the tool to work out and train. So. All right, we're going to get into the fighting stance. Some people will like to stand off to the side if you're doing some form of martial art. But me, since I do boxing, um, I do other martial arts, but I like boxing the best because uh, it's more easier, more complex, uh, more simple and direct. It gets down to the business. Only thing that I don't like about boxing is that you can't kick. That's the reason why I study Taekwondo. And, um, and plus, and, uh, you can't use like wrist locks and stuff from karate and stuff like that, you know, in boxing either. So that's the reason why I studied karate and taekwondo also on the side, um, than what boxing does. But boxing is a good workout, I will admit, you know, it is a good way, way to start learning martial arts. If you are wanting to learn martial arts yourself. You know, if you want to get into fighting shape, uh, boxing is a great tool to learn on how, how, how to fight. So, if you want to learn how to box, um, there are other YouTubers out there who are better than I am on uh, teaching some things. Me, I'm just here to try to get you into somewhat shape that you want to be. Um, I'm not like the best physical shape, but I am on my journey to get that best to see right now i weighed in at 153 pounds my weight varies from 150 to 153 um when i do cardio so we're gonna get it in we're gonna hit the bag we're gonna do some cardio along along with it um we're gonna do five sets i'm gonna see on how where i'm at because i had a train for like i want to say two days so i want to see on where my endurance is right now because right now i'm still kind of under the weather um but i'm still gonna get something in for you guys you know i'm not gonna stop you know and you know because i'm sick you know you know if, if you watch straight up z or wherever you know if you train like the sands you know we must ascend go further beyond our limits you know that's the way of the mighty sands and that's the way of how the sand race is so we are warriors, we never give up, and we just keep pushing to our limits no matter what. So 
We're going to start out with our jabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Switch one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Go into jumping jacks. One, two, three, four, five, seven, eight, ten, twelve, eight, eight, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Squats. Work jumping jacks works the core, the heart. Squats works the legs, which is the core, and the hamstrings. Then we're going to be doing the jab cross hook. Minus six, seven, eight, nine, look, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, and twenty. Now, if you need a water break, if you need a water break, go ahead and take a water break for this first round. So I would not advise taking a water break right now. So we don't give up.
That's combination number four. Run right now. We're going to do push ups. I usually don't wear gloves when doing push ups, but since we're boxing on the bag, um, leave them on. Then it's a jab cross uppercut. There's round one. Want to do calf raises? There's 20 reps of those. So like I said, so do it repeatedly. Five sets, this is round one. Now I'm gonna go on to the next round. So I've done two combinations all the way through. We're going to do two different exercises all the way through.
Now is the jab cross hook. It's okay to miss your routine up. You don't have to do the exact same order as I do, as long as you're doing it. Do lunges. Now we're going to do number four combination. already second round if you need a water break towards the end of the second round go ahead and get it because I'm gonna get one after the second round never never get a water break on the first round it's either the second round or halfway through the third round we get a water break all right we're gonna do since we done lunges we're gonna go down we're gonna do our push-ups Cross, uppercut, uppercut.
and Dennis calf raises. If you need a water break, go ahead and take a water break, because I am. Or, I should say a C4 pre-workout. Drink break. Now we're about to square one. We're going to do it all over again. This is round three. Like I said, we're only doing five sets. So if you're new to this, doing this, take your time. If it takes you a whole hour to do five sets, take your time. Go slow. Do not go fast at it. If you are new to doing something like this on the heavy bag, take your time. Because time is all we have. Jumping jacks.
into the lunges. down to push-ups.
on the calf raises. Then we're going to go back all over from the beginning, all over again. Same routine, same pattern. You can mix it up however you want to confuse the muscles. That's what I usually do. But uh, it's best always case to stay consistent with consistency with it. Um, this is basically to get you into fighting shape. Um, but we have two more rounds to go. Let's push through it no matter what. So. do lunges.
go and do some push-ups. Yeah, phrases, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, seven, seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seven, sixteen, seven, 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 one, seven. We're on our last set. set let's push through it you know we don't quit at anything if you need a war break 10 minute war break that's fine take as many much rest you need but get back to it you know it's all the mind mind over matter and you, if you believe in yourself if you believe in yourself you can accomplish anything you want if you put your mind to it you know, that's the reason why I do these videos for you guys. Just to help you push through your limits and go beyond. So, here we have it. Our last set.
Jet Pro so Punches. Go down on the push ups. Last combo. Last rep of what we have to do left. Remember, when you're doing the techniques, remember to breathe.
So last rip, calf raises. It makes automatically five sets. 20, that equals 100 rip. All right. I said stuff I do like this will get you in the best physical shape ever if you do let's say if you're into weightlifting do weightlifting three times a week and then mix it up with some cardio on the other days that you're not lifting and that way you get your heart rate going and you get your strength endurance going. So basically this is what I do when I just want to work on cardio and you know basically get into fight conditioning. I'm already in fight conditioning but since I had like a day off from being sick you know of resting and a half a day of being off from being sick today um, Feeling a little, like I said, I'm feeling, I want to say 70% better, not really 100% better, but at least I don't have the shits no more. Um, I'm not running fever no more. So, and I'm not out of breath, so I'm still in good shape. So, if there's only two days, one day, one day that I didn't work out um, out of the week. Um, the only time I don't work out is like, like I said, if my foot's bothering me, um, my foot's hurting really, really bad, um, I don't really do a whole lot on it, but, um, because usually I rest if I'm in pain, but, like I said, you know, we keep on fighting, we keep on ascending, no matter what the outcome is, um, if you know you're hurting, rest, rest is important if you're hurting, um, especially if you have some type of injury or if you're sick, um, try not to push yourself too hard. Um, those are the best two advice I can give you on being hurt or being sick. It's rest and recover. So, 
that's the number one thing your body tells you. You know, you're not a machine. You can't just keep going, going, going. I know there are some people that do keep going, going, going. But me, I'm just an average guy. You know, I'm not, you know, a machine, even though sometimes I feel like I am. Because sometimes on how I push myself, but there are days I'm, it catches up to me where I think, oh crap, you know, I need to slow down or something. So, so, like I said, if you don't know how I am, I'm down a poor fitness, fitness coach and fitness trainer, um, even though I'm not really licensed to teach people in person, but, you know, what I share on my channel. Um, I'm sharing my knowledge on what I know about staying in shape, you know, what I, what I do know, and like I said, this, this was only five sets, I usually do ten sets of these, um, but I'm trying to make, I've already made this video too long as it is, and like I said, I'm gonna hurry up, try to get back home, um, I'm not really supposed to be out and about, um, Due to me being sick, supposed to be being sick, so um, I'm gonna try to hurry up and get this thing done. And I'll see you in the next video. And like I said, getting a good workout in is always a count your blessings because you know you're being able to breathe, doing something active, no matter what. And like I said, if you want to be a Saiyan, or either you know, if you watch the new series, you want to be a Cobra. Or you want to be Eagle, Eagle Fang or Miyagi Do uh, version um, of your training. Um, out of those four things that I said, um, my philosophy goes around um, Johnny's teachings and Daniel Sun's teachings and. A little bit of Chris's teachings, but not a whole lot. But my teachings go around Johnny's teachings and um, Daniel Stone's teachings. Um, but uh, go beyond the limits, like a saying, I would have to say the two top sayings in Dragon Ball Z would be Goku and Vegeta. Um, those two admired me to keep pushing and keep training and, you know, to not give up my goals and dreams where I want to be at. And number one is Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee is what got me into the martial arts in the first place. But he would always be my number one idol and who I look up today. Um, but he's a master of the past. And now we got new masters of the now generations. But it's okay to have heroes that you look up to no matter what. So strike hard, strike first, show no mercy, and see you in the next video. Peace. Hey YouTube, uh, hey peeps, or people, whatever you want to call it. Just got done with the workout, um, did a boxing workout. Um, basically, um, I really didn't know what to really work on. I didn't really know what to really work on. So I figured, well, I'll do an interval training session, you know, for all you guys. Um, basically just working, working the bag and basically uh, doing some combos, doing some calisthenics along all together. Every time I work out, I always feel good. And I feel better now. I feel 100% better now than what I did earlier now since I train you know training always makes me feel better when I'm sick um, I guess it's from taking time off from training I'm gonna wait a while and let these two cars drive drive on there's like a big truck and a small car I'm not gonna pull out in the front of this big truck because it's got a load on it but it always makes me a little bell of hay on it. It always makes me uh, feel good about myself when I work out and everything. Um, that's the number one thing. 
you know, even when you're sick, even when you're sick, it, you know, it still helps you recover faster, recover faster and everything else, and from being sick. So, that's what my body does anyway. Everyone else is different, I know that, you know, but it is what it is, and, um, I'm feeling better. I don't like I said. I don't know what I had. I probably just had a a three day bug. I mean, I started having it Monday night. I went into Tuesday morning. I did go into work for about 45 minutes at work, and then I had to leave. And um, then I had to uh, go home. I stopped at the store, got a few things, you know, for for the house that I needed to get for my sickness, and I just rested, and that's all I done. And now I'm back at home. You know, I'm gonna try out of these videos and pop them up on the YouTube, and um, I'm trying to do it more like a blog setting um, on what I do because it seems like a lot of people nowadays. They better, they better, uh, have a blog's perspective of what I do or what people do. Um, I'm not going to film like, oh, what I do every day, every day of my life. You know, that's none of nobody's business on the outside of YouTube or work, whatever. Um, I can't carry my camera around at work on what I do every day. Um, that'd be kind of like... I don't know if they'll let me do that or not, you know, advertise the company, but, you know, I, you know, since they don't really want me to become a manager, um, I don't know if I really want to advertise our company or not, you know, it's just, I thought about doing that because, you know, to help them out, plus help my channel out, but I figured, well, I ain't going to do it, um, now. But, um, yeah, it's just, uh, you know, they, I'm in a better mood. Um, I trained for an hour. Um, I am feeling hundred percent better now. Um, I think it was just stress. A lot of it has to do with my sister and everything. Um, she tried to commit suicide over the holiday weekend and now she's out of the hospital as far as I know of. Um. Hopefully she stays better, but sometimes the medicines that they give her, they wear off and stuff like that. And I'm going to start sticking to my regimen, you know, my training. Um, it's probably because, you know, I've been taking too much time off, off and on, you know, from my training one day. And then work out off one day or whatever, do the hurtness, soreness or something like that, you know. It's like, I'm just going to push through the pain, push through the grind. And once I get a little bit more money saved up, I might make another appointment with my chiropractor and uh, get him to pop my foot back into place because I know it's kind of hurt because it hadn't been popped back in place for about two months now. Um, usually I wait about every three months um, to do it. And I'm going to try to wait probably till next month till winter gets here, before winter gets here. And, everything and do and do the appointment because I'm not going to go another month without it um, being worked on but it's like I said you know I feel better now since I got workout in that's probably what I needed was just to get up get moving so sitting around all day you know doing something nothing when I'm sick and stuff and you know even though you're supposed to rest but if I do something active I'm being productive and, you know, I'm trying to get better where I can go back to work. And I'm feeling 100% better. And I'll be in tomorrow to work. So, I'll probably be tired. A little tired tomorrow than what I normally am. But, oh well, you know, I'm going to still push through after I get off work. Go to my home gym. Work out there. And then my other home gym. Work out there. Um, I try to work out in my, in my gym on my own time. But, it's like... It's really not the same because I don't have my equipment in it. 
Um, only thing that I have is space to do like shadow boxing or kickboxing or uh, karate stuff, and that's all I really have space for in there. Um, basically, conditioning and stuff, body weight conditioning, calisthenics. That's all I really do in that room, and I'm, you know, I am big on cardio, don't get me wrong, it's just doing too much of it, um, it is good for the heart, but it's also bad on the joints doing it all the time, um, so that's the reason why I like to emphasize, you know, do different things than normal than what, um, what what I normally do because usually I miss my training up. I'll do weightlifting one night, calisthenics the other night. Uh, then I might do. Then I might um, do. Uh, like I don't know, like technique training one night just nothing but techniques all the way through a full full hour um or i might do just bag work for a full hour um you know i mix it up um i don't do a whole lot of running um i, I need to but i really don't because uh my conditioning is what gets me into shape you know why do i need to run you know I'm not training for a marathon. I'm not training, you know, if I was training for a marathon, then that's one thing. But, I mean, I do have those cones. I might do some conditioning on some cones one night. You know, I, I saw a YouTuber do it, and I might I might try a little bit of his training, you know, see what, see how it feels. And, um, I always, I always learn something different, you know, every time I work out or watch a video on YouTube. I either watch uh, Jesse Ancap, um, I watch his stuff, um, I, I watch uh, Swolverine, I watch some of his. Um, he used to have been Red Chucks, but now he's switched to Swolverine. Uh, I call him Wolverine because he looks like uh, Wolverine anyway. Logan off Wolverine. Wolverine anyway to me um of a superhero um even though Wolverine has always been one of my uh favorite X-Men characters because he has a genetic ability to heal himself and when he gets hurt and stuff like that because of mutation um but when it comes to non-powers on DC world uh Batman all the way um but as like I said, it's just I'm feeling hundred percent better. Um and I and I go to hard to hit hard to hurt channel sometimes. I learn things off their channel, off his channel and Tom uh Wonder Boy Thompson. I go to his channel, I learn some things off his. Um This is you know, they have so much information and anybody out there than what I know of. Um now the number one person is, is Swolverine. Um, he, he's always helped me out a lot. Um, he's always gone back to me on questions uh, that I've asked on what I can do with my training. You know what I can do to progress. And he's always been like a big brother to me online. Um, he helped me out through my sister's problems. You know to get through it and. You know, he said some things that really touched my heart, and, um, you know, hopefully one day we can meet up, you know, Silverine, you know, do a video together, you know, I'll pay you, you know, a hundred bucks out of your time, you know, if you're watching this, you know, if we can do a collab, um, but, um, yeah, you know, just hit me up, you know, if you want to do that, but if not, then I understand, um, but yeah, it's just, um, and I'm willing to learn new, new things, you know, it's in my fitness training, you know, go further and beyond, like a Saiyan, go further beyond like a Cobra or Eagle Fang or Miyagi-Do, whatever you want to call it, 
or ascend beyond your limits. You know, be and, and to be like water, like Bruce Lee says, and go with the flow of life. And but most of all, be yourself and stand up for what is right for you. And you know, train hard, train smart, do your research, and God bless. Stay safe out there. Be well and so hit subscribe, hit the like, hit the bell notification, and you'll get every one of my videos. Peace.